Hello, welcome to the Otter Order Manager. Otter's Order Manager brings your delivery apps together so you can manage all your online and offline orders from a single place. In today's demo, we'll show you how to view your live orders in order history, mark items as unavailable, edit prep times, enable auto accept, and more. Let's start at the top with orders. After you've connected your delivery partners to Otter, you'll see them under your Accounts Connected tab. Here, you can view your restaurant's active orders or click on Completed to have a look at the orders you've already fulfilled. Clicking on an order will lead you to its associated courier and customer information. Remember, courier information only becomes available once a courier has been assigned. If needed, you can 1. Reprint an order's ticket. 2. Mark an order as ready to pick up. Or 3. Mark an order as completed. This button helps you manage your workflow so you can understand the orders you're currently working on and those that you've sent out. The completed orders section lets you review past orders with all the information you see in the live order flow. If orders have been successfully integrated into your point of sale system, you can see them here. You'll notice that a chat button follows you across all of the order manager's screens. Click on it to speak to our team if you need help. To manage orders you received through your website, phone, or POS that is not connected to Otter, simply select the plus button to create a manual order in your order manager. Within your manual order, you can select whether it is for delivery or pickup, add customer information, and what items the customer has ordered. Create the order and it will flow into your active orders page. Click on the Integrations tab. From here, you will see all currently connected integrations. Here, you can view the status of your delivery apps, printers, and third-party delivery partners integrated with your Otter account. If an integration status shows red, then it is not connected. If you need help with connections, please message our team to get back online and ready to take orders ASAP. Let's walk through how to turn on auto accept so you never miss an order again. On your integrations page, you will see the option to toggle auto accept on or off. By turning auto accept on, your restaurant will begin accepting all incoming orders automatically. By turning it off, you'll continue needing to accept orders manually. Auto accept allows for no touch order acceptance. Orders will alert you that they have been accepted with a sound and print a corresponding ticket automatically. We recommend using auto accept to avoid missing orders and save time for your team. On this page, you can also adjust your prep time. If you're managing a rush of orders and need a little extra time, head to this screen to increase your prep times. Adjusted prep times ensure that your customers and delivery partners know how long it takes to complete an order. You can also adjust the length of prep times. You may want to increase times during busy periods, for example, or decrease them at quieter points. Next, let's move on to the menu section. Here you can mark items as available or unavailable, ensuring that no one ever orders a dish that isn't in stock. Your restaurant's menu section will only appear in order if it has been enabled and if your menus are the same across all of your connected delivery platforms. If you run multiple brands, switch between them using the button in the top left of the screen. Let us know if you want the menu feature to be enabled for your restaurant using the chat button. At the top of this section, you can monitor your restaurant's item availability. 
Clicking on an item lets you see if it is marked as available or not. You can find items using the search feature or by scrolling to them. Mark an item as unavailable by clicking here. You can choose to make an item unavailable for just today or indefinitely. You can mark the item as available again when it's back in stock. To make adjustments to your menu, use the Menu Management tool in your Otter dashboard. If you'd like to access this feature or learn more, please contact our support team using the chat button. Next, let's review the history section. Being able to access detailed reports is crucial for your business's continued growth. With Otter, viewing and downloading reports is easy. From the history page in Order Manager, you can click on any past order to review historical details about it, and you can also reprint order tickets here if needed. Here you can see a summary of your delivery sales over various lengths of time. If you click through the headline figures, this graph will update to display your business's gross sales, order volume, average order value, and average sales per store. If you scroll down, you can also review your restaurant's performance across all connected delivery platforms. More reports can be viewed and downloaded in your Otter dashboard. If you aren't sure how to access the dashboard, please reach out to our support team. Finally, let's move on to the integration section. In the settings section, you'll see your restaurant's complete information. Click here to hear what a live order coming through sounds like. If you look to the top right of your tablet, you'll see a plus sign, a notification bell, and a home icon. When you touch the plus button, you can input an order manually. This ensures that all orders are tracked through Otter even if they're received from your POS system or online store. If you touch the bell icon, you'll be able to review important notifications from Otter. With the home icon, you can pause your store's delivery orders if you're super busy, for example. You can pause each of your stores individually or all of them at the same time. Don't forget to unpause your stores when they're ready to take orders again. Now you're all set to use Order Manager by Otter. Remember, if you need help, Use the chat button to reach our support team. Happy delivery.